Just because you want to look basic, I have to look basic? No. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking, I don't own papers. Hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Alicia, aka Ali. And today I will be doing a video about how to be unbothered. How to be not bothered, how to not give up. about what people think if you would like to know how to be unbothered please keep watching being unbothered being unbothered means do what you want or what you like to do regardless of what other people think right it's about like whatever you feel like doing no matter what people think you will do to make you happy you know what i mean um we are human and i believe everybody is always judge you there was something to say and humans just judge other humans that's just human nature people will judge you regardless and it's up to you it's up to you how you react to these judgments so i wouldn't tell you how to be unbothered now, I am bothered. I'm a very unbothered person. I don't let stuff bother me as much. People, like studying what other people think about me, don't really study what other people think. So, I'm going to give you some tips. And number one is to stop. I have some notes written down here. So, number one is to stop comparing yourself to others right i know this is easier said than done i have done it also i have also compared myself to others so stop comparing yourself to others the reason why i say this is because you're only human right and i realize people love to compare their worst with someone else's best so let's say my hair looking terrible today I will compare myself to somebody else that hair looking real good or I'll go on Instagram because I don't not be happy with my body I will go on Instagram and look at somebody with the body that I want and compare myself to them when in reality them were interested of themselves you understand so it's like so comparing yourself to other people you're beautiful just the way you are if that's something you want to fix So feel pressured to fit into the beauty standard. Don't feel pressured to do anything that you don't want to do, right? So yeah, stop comparing yourself. I know it's easier said than done, but like you have to try. <coughs> you have to really try to not feed into these things where you compare to other people. What, what you can do is follow people on Instagram that have the same, that have the same body type as yours. Follow people with the same type of hair as yours. Follow people that is similar to you or looks like you. Because I used to be following all these skinny girls. I used to be following all these, you know, models and stuff. Because I thought that that is what this look good and that's what I wanted to look like. But in reality, I didn't look like that. So it's better to it's better to actually follow people that is look similar to you. Don't compare yourself to them, but get people who looking similar to you so that you'll feel better about yourself. It's not healthy to cop to compare. Next thing, ignore. I does really ignore people. I rel ignore people. I hmm. people is tell me all kind of things. I have to say again, real fat. You looking real this. You looking real that. Like, like 
it have certain things I want to do, right? I want to become an influencer. I want to accomplish different things. And sometimes people doesn't always have the best things to say, but they will always try to discourage you. And it's just ignore them because they never have nothing good to say or nothing of quality to say. So it's just like why even listening to you for because you have nothing of substance to tell me so <clears throat> ignore people ignore people who have nothing good to say um because they don't make sense honestly and you'll beat yourself up trying to wonder like why these people like this when you cannot you can't change how it is. Like that's just how it is. So like no learn to ignore people who talk in shit that you don't wanna hear. Limit your expectations. Don't be afraid to get rid of toxic people in your life. It could be your mother, your father, your brother, your family. People love to say that um let me say um your mother or your father telling you something like maybe negative. People love to say, well, um, you can't stop talking to your brother, that's your family, but you can't stop talking to your sister, that's your family. Toxic is toxic. You cannot go any help anywhere around it. There's still a person that's being toxic to you. So, you don't have to associate yourself with them. Friends. Friends that actually have nothing good to say. Who are not supportive of things that you want to do. Like, living in the Caribbean it's not normal to want to make money online it's not normal to want to be a influencer on a, um, Instagram thing Instagram person it's not it's not normal to want to have a YouTube and people that try to discourage you like I just tell people I want to be an influencer I tell people like people ask me I want to do one this now because I always say I want to leave my regular job and pursue what I want to do. I want to do makeup. I want to be an influencer. I want to be a model. I want to do stuff with my life. And people, then it's be like, oh, girl, um, why are you going to do that in Trinidad? In the Caribbean, it's kind of hard to do the things that I want to do. People just kind of try to discourage me from doing it because it just be like, even like I hear this from family members, I hear this from friends. That is be kinda <clears throat> So there's not that is not nothing good to say when um I tell them I start a YouTube that is be like You know that it's have a kind of negative kind of vibe to them. Like when I mention it that is be like oh okay well You should get. Um, I have a lot of. Oh, people love to say that it's not really a real career. That's what I like to say. I like to say that it's not a real career, and um, that it take a long time to blow up and these type of things. Like, okay, like I just say okay, and I just know who to get rid of, or I just know who to not say things are wrong. You know what I mean? Like, if it is, I realize I talking something around you, and you, 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 have, you, have, you, have, you have nothing positive to say about it, or you're not supporting my dreams. I just want to distance myself from the person. Right? I wouldn't just offer, I just stop, just lock them off. I just politely dis, um, dismiss myself from hanging out with that person so like we said asking me to go out or to ask me to go somewhere i will kind of like make up an excuse or something and then gradually i'll just stop going and we will just stop being friends because you're not supportive and there's a reason why i don't have much friends in the first place because people is be real fair and it doesn't always be happy fair when you're doing stuff and I get to learn that. So, yeah. Ex 
point is to live life for you. Live life for you to be happy. Do what brings you joy and live life to serve you, right? So, Sabina, yes man, stop. Like, if you don't want to do something, you don't have to do it. You know what I mean? Like, point blank period. Like, if you don't feel comfortable doing something, you don't have to do it. Because it's come a time where, it have times where somebody will ask me to do something for them and I really didn't feel like doing it. But I do it anyway because I wanted to make that person feel happy. I really don't want to do it. So sometimes, before you like think about it, like let me say somebody comes and asks you to do something and you don't really feel like doing it, but you do it anyway. You're not really feeling good because you didn't do it for yourself. You didn't do it because you wanted to. You just do it because it's supposed to ask you when it genuinely deep down didn't feel like doing it. So, do what you want to do. Don't make nobody force you to do anything. Do what you feel like doing. Because at the end of the day, people don't study you, you know, and that's why I learned. People don't study you. You didn't study other people, but people don't study you. Your heart is not like other people's heart. The way you go care about somebody else, they wouldn't care about you. And I had to learn this the hard way. Because I always helping somebody, always seeking somebody's interest, always want to make somebody else feel comfortable. When in reality, they don't make me comfortable. They wouldn't put, they wouldn't put themselves aside for me. And I had to learn that the hard way and get used by a lot of people because I was too nice or I was too giving and helpful. So yeah, live life for you, serve you, do what you want to do. Don't do what somebody else wants you to do. Do what you feel like doing. Right? The next point I want to touch on is keeping your energy safe. Um, yeah, if I talk to somebody about something, like a new business you want to open or something you want to try, or you open out your heart and you tell them something about yourself and they're trying to tell you more about yourself than you know what I mean it's like you telling them about yourself but I'm trying to tell you how you is like you can't tell me how I is I is me use you you can't tell me what who I is or how I am you know what I mean so yeah you need to watch the people you hanging around because people don't always have good intentions and good energy because I just be positive like I just be positive I just be manifesting I just be um, manifesting good things for myself I just be trying to be as positive as, as I can be and then I go mention something to somebody like let me say I'm talking to a friend or somebody and from the time they're saying you really think you could do that you really think you you capable of doing that like like it's have people I mentioned that I want to be an influencer and I want to like be a millionaire and I want to um, be financially free and the first thing that was says um, you sure you could do that or um, when I let them know like I want to do YouTube and I want to be successful even though I'm based in Trinidad and it's very hard in the Caribbean I believe, I believe I could do it because the sky's the limit you could do whatever you feel like doing and I encourage you to start a channel if you want to start one or do whatever you want to do if you want to start a business start it do what you feel comfortable doing or follow your dreams and I will literally mention to people that this is what I want to do and stuff and they will literally say you don't find too much um, too much people doing that or you don't find it have plenty of people that are doing that already or you don't find it have that already or you don't you know what I mean there's never nothing good to say there's always something negative to say and then now when you 
go home now and think about the things they said, the energy actually rubbing off on you. And on the energy rub off on you now, you actually attacking yourself. You're kind of like dimming down yourself for them. So like, be careful of the people you, you are around and yeah and stuff like yeah be careful about that talk less but more wisely like okay when they say when i say speak less but more wisely i mean like let's say we're talking about something and like how i always talking about like becoming my own boss and even um the job that i'm doing right now and I'm trying, and somebody's telling me, um, no, you can't do that, blah, 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 this and that, or like we say, we have an argument or anything. And I, <laughs> being the Sagittarius that I am, is always saying that I'm right, right? Like, most of the times, I believe I'm right. Because I just do research of, of stuff before I even mention something. But then the other person, the other person don't um resonates with what i say i learn to not argue with people right especially when i know i'm right and they're wrong like i learn not to argue with people you can't convince people to believe what you believe you can't right like don't even open mind and I don't want to change your mind but you can't change somebody's mind it's only up to them to change it so like only speak things with sense and only speak when it's something of importance don't be trying to argue with people and these type of things like speak less like you don't have to be like talking unnecessarily about stuff and these type of things like just Just speak when you need to speak about something of importance. Like, it's self explanatory. Just talk less. Like, people don't need you arguing with them about certain stuff. You don't need to be stupid to other people's levels arguing about things. Like, just let, let people have their own opinion. Agree to disagree with some people. My next point is stop being judgmental and mind your own business. This is the thing. I don't see how people could be judgmental of other people. Right? Like people is always want to be judgmental. And I just can't do it. Like I just literally hear people saying, I don't know how she could do that. Oh, I don't know how he could do that and blah 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 and this and that and the other and I just just be like girl just mind your own business like especially <laughs> especially where I work in like people literally don't know to mind their business they always talking about somebody they go hear somebody with somebody or something and they, they just be like oh my god how she could do that Oh, she can be with you, and this and that. Mind your own business. It don't concern you. The only way how I will input is if the person themselves asks me their, my opinion. And I'll give my opinion. Other than that, I don't have time. Mind your own business and stay in your lane. Like, if it's not you, why even care? You understand know what I mean? Like, stop being judgmental. If somebody wants to smoke, let them smoke. Right? Let them do what they want to do. It's their life. All of us get put here. And God give us choices. And we can do what the hell we want. You can do what you want. Like you can literally do what you want. Like I don't see why people just be so judgmental. Especially older people. Like they just get on as if they wasn't young once. Like they just act like if there was always 
good. Like they never make no mistakes. Like allow people to live. Like if somebody wanna smoke or don't wanna drink every day, like that's their business. If the only difference is <laughs> the only difference is if they complain about wanting to stop drink or someone wanting to stop smoke and they want help and they just not seek any help, then there's a difference. But if the person if somebody wanna do something, leave them and mind your business. Like I don't know why it's so hard for people to just mind their business. Oh my god. It'll be so much easier when you mind your business. When you mind your business, you don't care about nothing. Like people will come to me and say, you know this one, blah 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 blah. And it's be like for real? And they'll be like Ali, you really don't know that's what's going on. And I'd be like, no. Because I'm minding my business. Like, it's not that hard enough. Just mind your business. Like, I don't know why people like that. Just fast. Especially in the Caribbean. People fast. They like to know your business. They like to know everything. They like to question you. Oh my god. I'll tell you how much time people is going to ask me my business. They love to ask your business. I just don't feel comfortable telling people my business. And people just literally get annoyed when I don't want to tell them my business. Like they just literally, here's what it is doing. They just literally tell you something about themselves. And this is all they see people stupid. They just try to tell you something about themselves. Right? <laughs> I want to tell you about themselves. They want to ask you about you, or they expect you to say something. I don't say anything because I don't owe you no explanation. Like I didn't tell you to tell me your business. Like you choose to tell me your business. So when I don't say nothing back, they just be like, "So you know, when I'm telling me, I'm moving on with you," and I just be like, "No." Like, I don't owe you nothing. Like these people are literally insane. Like they always do that. You know? So yeah, mind your business. <laughs> the next thing is, don't be afraid to say no. Like, I know it's hard, like it's not easy um to apply these things. But I learn to say no. Learn to say no sometimes. Like this is the problem I had. I was trying to please people. I was trying to do as the best thing for people. Always thinking about other people. Never thinking about myself or what I was like. I go always for myself to decide and study somebody else, which is crazy. When somebody asks me to do something for them, I just feel obligated to help to help them out. Like that's just the type of person I am. I love to help other people. But I just realize people does not think the same. Like they don't like helping people. Like you have people that is helpful. People. But then you have people that don't like to return the favor. And it's not that I'm looking for somebody to give me back something in return. Even though I don't, I just um, try not to need people. It has times where you might need people, and those same, pe those same people that you help does not be there for you. I can tell you that from experience. Right? Like, I don't let a lot of things bother me anymore, honestly. My mom died in 2019 and that just triggered it all for me because I get to see how people is like she used to always tell me like she was always a nice person always a pe people always a people pleaser always helping people so she always know how to be polite always know how to help people but then I realized like when she gets sick it's like she was always there for other people, including family, and they was never there for her. So it's like, I get to see firsthand like how life is. Like people, heart, 
not like yours so when she died and i get to see how it is or when she gets sick, help in her lifetime was never around to help it like it trigger up something in my brain is like i just stop caring about people i stop caring about people think about me i stop caring about everything and it's not again no because it's like i always one day worrying about what people say or what people think or what people when i um what people when i um, tell other people and i just say you know what life too short and I just wanna live for me and I will always encourage always encourage anybody to do that live for yourself because when you live for people there isn't nothing good to say anyway like I like the nicest people at my job right I'm not saying that like because I don't know about myself. Like that is literally one of the nicest people. Because all the other people in there is like excuse me. And I get to hear a lot of people say stuff about me. And it's like I try to understand it. It don't make sense. I be like, I just nice person. I be so nice to all these people. And then I get to hear a lot of stuff that people say about me. You know? And I said the question, the people who are saying it are wrong. Like people who are supposed to be cool with me, they're saying it are wrong them. So it's like, so the, the people comfortable saying it are wrong you. So it's like, yeah, they're kind of like, just be whoever, be yourself. Be however you want to be. Because people don't like you, people don't care about you, people don't, people don't want to study yourself. Because I used to be real nice. I'm still a nice person. Like people can't de people can't deter me from being nice. It's just that I don't be people pleaser anymore. I don't live for people. Like I just do what I wanna do. Like I wanted to start a YouTube. I started on YouTube and who cares who gives a shit like I started on YouTube and I don't care regardless people saying you live in any Caribbean um, nobody will see your videos you won't get views I started my channel in December I know it's not plenty but I have 33 subscribers and I am grateful for each and every one of my subscribers like is that people with zero subscribers I have 33 it's plenty to me and I'm real grateful so it's like <sighs> people are just negative and I don't study people anymore like I know it's take a lot and I'm still like working on it myself but I don't take on people anymore because if you study people you'll never reach nowhere in life I just literally just post what I want to post so I get that, um, my truth or drink I say a couple of stuff and my couple of my friends was like yo why you say that and why you this and I was like I do not even care like I wanted to post it with my channel like, I can post whatever I feel to post like I don't care like I genuinely like to talk crap, like I like to talk shit, like I like to laugh and talk and be cool, like that's the kind of person I is, so that's how my channel will be, and I'm gonna fake nothing, I'm just gonna be unbothered, do what I wanna do, and not give a shit, like life too short to be worrying about other people, people who just talk about other people, just insecure in themselves. So I just said like them wanted they they just insecure. That is just it. When you want confidence and you want bothered and you do what you wanna do and then when people see you like elevate yourself and you're reaching places 
then they'll want to say, I know this girl, and I know this person, and I used to work with her, and I went to school with her. Use the same one who was saying I wouldn't reach nowhere. Use the same one who was saying I live in the Caribbean and I can't reach nowhere. Like, I don't know, some people are so negative. People just really like to be negative. And I will never understand that. Like, it don't make sense. I don't expect much from people at all. Like, you don't expect much from people. Like, it's humans. <laughs> like, they're not, they're not a majority of them not loyal. If not, if not all. Like, you can't trust people. You can't expect much from them. And I literally don't be surprised. I don't be surprised about anything, actually. Like, when your brother doesn't care about them things, he doesn't care what nobody has to say. Like how um, other people always talk about how um, I just do my makeup every day. And I just be like, okay, I don't even care because I like to do my makeup. This is what makes me feel confident. This is what I like doing. Just because you want to look basic, I have to look basic? No. People love to talk about how I like to wear makeup and how I love to this and I always like <laughs> like a girl at my job right literally told me because I like to do my hair like I do my hair um every week or every two weeks I would do over my hair because I uh, wear braids or wear full locks all the time I just wear braids and full locks all the time I always have been a protective style so she literally just said she just Say to me, um, you literally said, um, um, I know when you have kids, you wouldn't have time, you wouldn't have time to do your hair, and you wouldn't have time to do this. And I like, excuse you, she said, because I don't have time to do it. I say, you don't make time to do it because that's not something you take pride in. I just take pride in how I look, so my hair is, does always be done, right. You don't have to pay to get your hair done. I sit down and learn how to do my hair. Um, taught how to do fox locks in my previous video. So, you can watch it. <laughs> but yeah, I... I literally was like, yo, like, if you want to look like that, that you. And I want, I want... I don't want to let her and stop me from looking nice. Like, what? Just because you have kids doesn't mean you have to look like that. Like, that's just me. Like, I have nieces, right? And my niece, my niece and them used to be like all over me. My niece used to be all over me all the time. While I do my hair, she will be on top of me. She will be there jumping up on me, want me to lift up. Want me. Yeah, it will take longer to finish my hair, but I still do it. So it's whatever you want to make time for. So people is just like literally want to hate on you for no reason. And that's just how people is. They don't like to see people elevate him. And when you take on people, you let them win. When you when you study people, you let them win, right? And we can't have that. We can't have people winning. We have to win. We have to say, no one is listening to you. I do what I want to do. This is what makes me happy. You, you know. <laughs> yeah. So just don't study people. Just study yourself. Like just study yourself. Yeah, you study people. You'll never do nothing. If you take on people, you'll never do nothing. You'll never accomplish nothing. You'll never reach anywhere if you study people. People just get threatened by people who want to elevate themselves. I can talk about this whole day. People don't like when you're trying to elevate yourself and trying to get out of a certain situation. Okay, loves. 
I hope you guys enjoyed my video talking about being unbothered. I know this is easier said than done, and I know it's not easy to do. Um, but I learned to do this with time. Like you will learn to do it. Like you will learn to speak up for yourself. You will learn to stop caring what others think. You will learn it. Because people really don't care about you. They don't know who really real or not. So take care of yourself. Do what makes you happy. Okay? <sighs> Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.